Hi, my friends. Welcome to class. My name is Angie. Today we are going to be doing um, a fun little flow um, that's kind of inspired by my lack of motivation. <laughs> so I've been feeling um, just tired. Um, I'm sure there's people out there that can relate. Um, and yeah, I'm just trying to find the strength, you know? So this sequence is going to help to try to bring in some elements that maybe help with that. We'll see. Um, but I'm going to bring in some Garuda themes, which is um, an eagle. So the, well, it's half eagle, half human, um, really representing strength and courage. And um, we'll do some mudras. We'll do some breath. Yeah. Um, so let's begin. Let's begin on our back, Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together. Take a block under your shoulder if you have a block. If you don't, just go ahead and lay flat on your back. But we want to open up the chest first. So opening the hips, opening the heart, let the arms fall out wide, palms face up here. Take a few deep breaths just to drop in. Make them deep, make them full as a way to build prana here. So big breath in, feel the ribs expand in all directions. Long breath out. Belly button goes to spine, getting all the air out. Inhale, fill up. Exhale to release. Inhale, let it go. One more breath in, make it big. Exhale out the mouth. Good. Observe the breath for a few rounds. And sort of honor it, you know, so give yourself what the breath is asking for. So if it wants to be soft, let it be soft. If it wants to be full, let it be full. So Garuda is um, in Hindu and Buddhist mythology is known to be the vehicle of Lord Vishnu. Vishnu is um, a great protector and Garuda comes in and is basically his carriage and helps him to um, basically accomplish what he's trying to accomplish. Um, a lot of strength, courage, pre perseverance, and there's also like a level of benevolence, like kindness. So it's like, can we find the strength, but with a level of ease at the same time? with devotion. It's like it's our duty to keep ourselves motivated, to keep returning back to ourselves, to our practice, to the rituals and the things that we know protect us, keep us maybe healthy or just like mentally in a peaceful place. Big breath in, gentle breath out, pull the knees in, plant them flat on the ground, lift up enough to remove the prop if it's there and then come back to lying flat on your back, arms down by the sides, inhale to lift the tailbone coming into a bridge pose, tuck the shoulder blades under, chin away from chest, long neck, and then just keep pressing through the feet, lifting up. Maybe you can clasp the thumbs together behind the back. We're going for like this Garuda Mudra variation here. So as you pull the thumbs, you can feel the heart expose open a little bit more. Keep pressing through the feet, tucking the tailbone towards the knees. Feel the hip flexors and the psoas stretch.
Big breath into the front body. Watch the stomach and ribs expand. Stay for the exhale. One more breath in, lift the hips higher. Exhale, lower all the way down, release the clasp of the thumbs. Pull the knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug. Curl up into a little ball, tuck the chin into the chest. And we'll breathe into the back body here. Exhale to plant the feet, lift back up, bridge pose. Inhale. Clasp the thumbs. And you can kind of feel how that opens the heart, kind of are able to tuck the um, arms under a bit more, creating more space. Exhale to lower the hips. Begin to rock forward and back. So we're massaging the spine here. And then we'll land in boat on the sits bones. Sit up nice and tall here. Pull the heart forward. Shrug the shoulders back and down. Maybe you float the hands or hands to the mat and then float the legs. Keep lifting up through the solar plexus, through the heart. We'll be activating these points here. Solar plexus, this is our space of confidence, strength, our willpower, our ability to trust ourselves and the choices that we make. Keep breathing. Big breath in, exhale, low boat, inhale, high boat, back up, and then exhale, just cross the legs, come to a comfortable seat here, inhale, both arms reach up, exhale, side bend to the left, left hand to the mat or to the floor, right arm reaches over, inhale to gaze up, open the heart. Exhale, keep the chest where it's at, look down. Inhale through center. Exhale to the opposite side. Inhale, open the heart, look up. Exhale, gaze down. Inhale through center. Exhale to twist. Inhale to grow the spine taller. Exhale to twist a little further. Do that again, breath in. Inhale through center, twist opposite side. Always an option to take a block under the hand here for added support. Inhale, grow the spine tall. Exhale, twist. One more time. Good, inhale, sit tall. Exhale, palms lower down, reaching out in front of you parallel to the ground. We'll wrap the right arm under the left, bend the elbows, and then you could either take the backs of the hands together or palms together. If this is inaccessible, go ahead and just grab opposite shoulders here, elbows stacked. So eagle arms, sitting up nice and tall. Take a breath in and take a tiny back bend. Lift the elbows up. And then exhale to round. Curl in, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. Inhale. Cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. One more. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, cactus the arms down by the sides. Inhale to reach high. Exhale, palms lower down, face the ground. Left arm 
under the right this time. And then bend the elbows, either backs of the palms or hands touch. Inhale, lift up. Exhale to round. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. One more, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale, up and unravel. Cactus the arms down by the sides as you exhale. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, tabletop. Stacking the shoulders over the wrists and the hips, over the knees. We'll tuck the toes under, drop the heart, lift the chest, a brief cow. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Lift the hips up, really press firmly into the palms. All, all parts of the hands are attached here. And then pressing the ground away, feel the shoulders um, push away from the ground. Bend the knees, come onto the toes, lift the tailbone up towards the sky. Take a breath in. Stay for the breath out. Good. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, top of the mat, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale to rise, press down through the feet, reach high. Exhale, cactus arms, slight back bend. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale for chair, set the hips down, swing the arms high. Exhale to settle a little lower. One breath in. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, high plank. Keep pressing off the toes here. Take a breath in. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Pull the heart open, the shoulders back. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Downward facing dog. Breath in. Breath out. Inhale, right leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale, step through, high crescent lunge. Stay high on the back toes. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, chaturanga. Frame the front foot, step back, lower down halfway. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg up, three-legged dog. Exhale to step through. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, chaturanga. Frame the front foot. Step back, lower down halfway. Upward facing to downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees. Top of the mat, forward fold. Lift up halfway, flatten the back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise, reach high. Exhale, cactus, tiny back bend. Inhale to reach. Exhale, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair. Hips down, arms up. Exhale to settle. Breath in. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift. Chaturanga, plant the palms, step back, lower down halfway, upward facing to downward facing dog. Right leg up, inhale, exhale to step through, inhale to rise, high crescent lunge, this time warrior two. Breath in, breath out, inhale, high crescent, Pivot on the back toes, back facing forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing to downward facing. Left leg up. Exhale to step through. 
Inhale to rise, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, back to high crescent. Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing and downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, top of the mat, forward fold, halfway lift, fold, rise. Exhale, palms lower down through heart center. One breath in, clearing breath out. Inhale for chair, hips down, arms up. Option two, take a little eagle mudra here. So we're gonna take the thumbs, face the palms, or wait, yeah, face the palms towards you, cross the uh, wrists. We're just gonna reach forward like this. <sighs> little eagle, uh, Garuda mudra. Try to keep the shoulders back at the same time. So we're not like super rounding here, still strong through the chest. Breath in, exhale, step back, release your mudra, arrow lunge. Take a breath in, stay for the exhale. Inhale, back to chair, step forward, take the mudra, super simple. Breath in, breath out. Inhale, exhale, arrow lunge. Inhale, stay for the exhale. Inhale, chair, eagle. Breath in, exhale, right foot steps back, arrow lunge. This time, shift forward, warrior three. Float the back leg, lift it up. Keep reaching the heart forward. Breath in. Exhale to chair. Nice and slow. Inhale, the arms high. Switch sides. Exhale, left foot steps back. Arrow lunge. Inhale, warrior three. Press off the back toes. Float the back leg. Exhale to chair. Left foot meets the right. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, right foot steps back, arrow lunge. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale to chair. Inhale, pull the thumbs. Exhale, left foot steps back, arrow lunge. Good, inhale, warrior three. Exhale to chair. Inhale, arms high. Right side, exhale, arrow lunge. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, chair. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, left foot back. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, chair. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, to rise. Close the eyes. Big breath in. Big breath out. Steady the breath. Notice the sounds around you. Staying present here. Staying present with sensation. Not getting lost in the mind. Blink the eyes open. Inhale, chair pose, here we go. Take a breath in. Stay for the breath out. Good, breath in. Exhale, right foot steps back, arrow lunge. This time, inhale, high crescent lunge. 
exhale, warrior three. Slight change. Inhale for chair. Exhale, left foot steps back, arrow lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three with airplane arms. Inhale for chair. Right side, exhale, step back, arrow lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, chair. Exhale, left foot steps back, arrow lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, chair. We'll build, exhale, arrow lunge. Inhale, high crescent, reach the arms high. Exhale, warrior three with airplane arms. Inhale, stork, right knee pulls into the chest. Ekapada Tadasana, strong core, finding balance. Breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale to straighten. Exhale for chair. Good. Inhale. Exhale, left foot steps back, arrow lunge. Inhale for high crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Left knee pulls into the chest. Inhale to straighten the left leg. Breath in. Exhale for chair. Breath in. Exhale, right foot steps back, arrow lunge. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Exhale for eagle this time. So right knee wraps around the left, right elbow under the left. You can bend the elbows, maybe you grab opposite shoulders or touch palms or the backs of the hands. We're gonna lift up through the elbows. We're gonna sit low through the hips. And maybe that those toes are kind of kickstanding, finding balance here. Or maybe you find an extra wrap, your choice. And we're lifting up through the arms, feeling this nice stretch in the back of the shoulders. Take a breath in. Exhale to begin to round, folding yourself in. Maybe you kickstand that foot for support. Nice stretch through the back body. All right. We'll lift up and on a ravel, step the right foot wide, grab the left elbow, left foot crosses behind the right, side bend. Big moves here. <laughs> breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, back through center, onto your mat. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale for chair. Exhale, left foot steps back. I'm hoping we didn't already do this side. <laughs> Inhale, the arms high. Exhale, warrior three. No, we didn't, okay, good. <laughs> Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Left knee pulls into the chest, reach high. And then exhale for Garudasana. Left knee crosses over the right, left elbow underneath the right. Lift the arms up, set the hips low. Breathe, lock your drishti on one point here. Big breath in. Exhale to fold, rounding yourself in. Breathe into the back body. All right. We'll inhale to rise, step left to reach the arms up. Cross the right foot behind the left. We're off our mat, taking a nice side bend here. Breath in. Stay for the breath out. 
Inhale, back through center, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, to fold. Inhale for chair. All right, we'll go one more time. Exhale, arrow lunge. Inhale, high crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, Akapada Tadasana. Exhale for eagle. Left over and then left arm under. Inhale, lift the arms high. Exhale to fold. Stay for a breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale to rise, reach high. No crossover this time. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, chair. Arms up. Exhale, arrow lunge. Left foot steps back. Inhale, high crescent. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, Ekapada Tadasana. Left knee pulls into the chest. Exhale, eagle. Left over, left under. Inhale, the arms high. Exhale to fold. Stay for a breath in. Stay for the breath out. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, forward fold. Ooh. Inhale, for a chair, sit down. And then come up onto the toes. Sit a little lower. Good, we'll find a little toe stand, if you will. So we're trying to bring the butt down to the backs of the calves. And it's squeezing the ankles in towards the midline. And then option to take your Garuda Mudra. Keep your gaze locked on one point. All right, and then from here, we'll do a little funky transition. See if we can try to just sit on the butt, keeping the hands where they're at, floating the legs for a boat. Woo, get there how you need. If you have to release the hands, that's okay. And if you don't like the cross, you can also just like that, pull the elbows. Big breath in, exhale all the way down to the mat, pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side. Whew. We was moving. Also one of the um, things that Garuda represents is speed, speed and strength, courage. Hmm. And we was moving. All right, take the arms out wide. Take a break, big breath in. And let the legs fall over to the right side. Gaze to the left. Maybe your hand to the top left thigh for some support. Try to get that left shoulder anchored down. Sometimes it helps me to scoop my hips back over to the left so my Spine is in a line, although it's twisted, it's still stacked. Mm. Come back through center and switch sides. Breath in. Knees come back through center. And then we'll set up for 
One final bridge here. So pull the knee, the feet nice and close to the butt. Plant them down, arms down by the sides. Inhale to lift up. Tuck the shoulder blades under. Option to take that Garuda Mudra behind the back. Now exhale to lower the hips down. And we'll take Supta Baddha Konasana. We'll end where we began. So feet together, knees wide. Maybe you take the hands to the body this time. And we're just letting the breath calm itself down. Softening the face. Really just releasing any control here before Shavasana. Letting the knees fall open wide. We did a lot of Closed hip stuff today, so the open hip feels nice. Might feel a little resistance there. Just kind of just bring your awareness to the hips. Send your breath there. Make the exhales nice and long. Just allow them to open. We won't be here much longer. And when you're ready, extend both of your legs. Arms down by the sides, palm face up. I like to tuck my tailbone once I'm here. Try to get my low back as close to the mat as I can. Take a breath in. Exhale it out the mouth. Shavasana. I'll call you back out in a few minutes. If you find the mind wandering a lot, see if you can find an anchor. Maybe it's your breath. Maybe it's the sounds or sensations around you.
The way to access a meditative state is through concentrating the mind. So while in Shavasana, we're not supposed to or not needing to do anything, not trying to control anything, just allowing ourselves to be. If you find it a struggle, you can concentrate the mind, focus it on something. And eventually that will turn into ease. Shavasana is said to be a resting pose, and for some it's pretty restless. It's more like stillness, and stillness can be difficult, especially in a world where we're constantly moving and doing. Notice any colors behind the eyes, any lights or shapes, just observing your visual landscape behind the eyes, the third eye. Take a breath in, wake up the body. Exhale out the mouth. Energizing breath in. Breath out. Flicker the toes, the fingers. Reach the arms up overhead, take a big stretch. And then we'll meet in a seated position whenever you're ready. Taking your time to get there, no rush. Maybe you take a sip of water when you get there. We'll sit nice and tall. Pull the palms into heart center for Anjali Mudra. And we'll seal the practice with the sound of one Om, giving gratitude to each other, to the spaces that we occupy, to our teachers and their teachers, to these bodies, minds. Take a breath in. Inhale the thumbs to the third eye. And we'll bow to each other to seal the practice. Thanks, my friends. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I hope this practice was uplifting. I hope that you feel strong in your body. Um, and if you don't, that's okay too. Um, but yeah, we'll see you next time. Have a beautiful day and let us know what you think. <laughs>